but I thought no one would like it, so just... Yeah. It was just... A, so, when I say nothing is going to be announced for the 30th anniversary, like, you've probably heard all the stuff, and the next thing you hear will probably be something you've already heard of. Because that's, like, the crazy thing. There could have been so much, like... Do you remember when Seth Killian's business card said Hype Architect, and he would hand it to you, and he would say, God damn! That is a name on a card. And he was like, guess what, you guys? Gems. And sometimes I was like, you know what? He's making gems sound okay. I know they're not okay, but he makes them sound okay. Where's their Where's their hype architect? I think it's going to be Alpha 3. I've said it once, and I've said it again. This game does not give you room for hype. I mean, that's, that's another issue. <laughs> there's... <laughs> In terms of like the mechanics, Daigo actually just said as much in his interview on uh, Sure You Can. You guys go look that up. He, like, honestly, he says basically exactly that. So go look it up. Yeah, you can't layer. I that. honestly, I honestly feel like the middle child because Street Fighter Five is like the first Street Fighter that I'm truly like trying to learn and analyze and get good at and like understand things. I mean, I've always played a Street Fighter, but this is like my my first one. Like. So uh, I feel like the middle child, when everybody's like shitting on Street Fighter Five, I'm just kind of sitting there with my thumbs like, uh... I wouldn't worry about it, dude. I mean, I actually only started getting into Street Fighter Five um, about five years ago, actually, um, with sort of the late versions of Street Fighter Four, and everyone else has been playing for the already like 20 years. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, I, I, I know the feels. Um, which is probably why I'm so skewed with my vision of what a Street Fighter game is, because everyone's had like Third Strike and uh, Street Fighter 2. And it's just like, here I am sitting here being an 09er. And it's, it's just kind of, not even an 09er. I, I love Third Strike. Third Strike's probably my favorite Street Fighter. I, got, I just got to reel that back for a second and just say that Sheldon kind of went in. That round. Went in. Just and then did, did you see how he used the critical card early? Because he's like, look, I'm not playing no games with Zangief. I already know how this matchup could go. I got to get you out of here. Well, I Akuma, can, the, Akuma yeah. can rush down Geef. Yeah. Akuma can I, pressure I like Geef. the flexible use of his, uh, his demon flip into grab versus demon flip into to hand. That that one tiny mm. mix-up meant that he could have safe pressure from a distance after following up from a combo. Yeah, he has to he has to do with the because he can't do any of the the Zanko Hadokens because Geef can just layer it right through him. So he has to change his pressure a little bit for Geef specifically, but that little change makes a big difference. Because Larry, because also I've noticed how he he's not staying long range. He's mm -hmm. literally staying that that tiny gap between mid and close, so that if he does do a Hadoken, there's just literally no time to react. And that's the good range for a fireball in in this video yeah. game. Oh, you're anti. Oh. That was so oh. smart! Mm. Holy shit! What that the was beautiful. Oh. Holy that was shit, beautiful. that was so smart. I think that's why Sheldon took a moment. He's like, did I really just do that? That was kind of sick. I wonder if he really did that on purpose. That was sick. Yo, because in that screen, in, in that freeze, right? You know, or at least I knew when I was thinking Geef, I was like, EX, EX Porsche Dynamite. Do it. Porsche Dynamite. Because he's going to grab that, that Shoryuken, which would have happened if he Shoryuken. But Sheldon was like, nah, bruh. Here comes something else. Oh my god, that was so good. It was so smart, I messed up the neck. <laughs> yeah, and then after, yeah, the neck code after that was like, by the way, where your, where your frame's at? And eat all them buttons. Yikes. Hatson, when I say no room for hype, I'm just... Uh, it's its different. It's like, um, I've, I've always explained this as, uh, as your anticipation versus your general expectation. Like uh, in Street Fighter 4, in, in Third Strike, wow, like your, an, your anticipation mm -hmm. was, I, I need to see that combo starting, I need to see that combo start, and I need to see them keep it going, because if they drop it, they're dead. So they're now, 